Hey, hey, hey. This is Sue checking in from Minnesota. Let us know where you're coming in from. And tonight's is not going to be a long one unless you guys want to talk more. But I thought I'd get on and talk just a little bit about are you waiting for the perfect time to start Facebook Lives? Raise your hand if you've ever done that. Hey, Vicki, welcome, welcome. Yes, that was me. I was waiting for the perfect time to start Facebook Lives because I was like 100 million different excuses. Number one, this isn't my personality. Number two, it's just a little bit too freaky to get on Facebook and talk to all these people that are listening in. I was pretty freaked out. So just to let you know that if you're waiting for the perfect time to start Facebook Lives, you might as well just get in and dive in and do it whether you like it or not because with time you'll get better and better. So a little bit I wanted to talk about this from the respect, if you think about all the businesses or products for that matter, if someone had waited, they wouldn't be here. So think about Amazon, how has this impacted your life? Think about Facebook, like you're watching me right now on Facebook, right? So Facebook's impacted every single one of us that watches my live on Facebook. Uh, think about the Targets, the Walmarts, whatever chain stores are around you. Think about the, the electronics, like the Apple, the iPhones. Think about whatever it is, right? The HPs, the computers, whatever brands of computer you use, or your phones. If you wouldn't have them, you wouldn't be able to watch me again. Or the Samsungs. Now think about the stores, you know, 7-Eleven or the restaurants you know, McDonald's, uh, Dairy Queen, Perkins, etc. Or think of your favorite brands of food, clothing, shoes, whatever. If somebody wouldn't have gotten off the dime and started making this or doing it, it wouldn't be here. So I just wanted to talk about it. You know, for one example, 7-Eleven, I will never forget this once I learned it. It made me chuckle so hard to think how ice started. How ice, like they chunked away at ice and started selling it. So go back, for those of you that are like research nerds, 7-Eleven started in the South and they started selling ice. They started with selling ice. So think about this. So all, when they started doing this, think of all the stores around the world and the homes they impacted by doing this. Isn't that just crazy? So you think about these things so if you have a fear of starting something like I, you know, originally feared starting my MLM because there were so many products in my company, I feared learning them all. And one day I realized, duh, just point people in the direction of the learning, whatever it is, a reference guide or a book, whatever it is on that product, help them understand to fish for themselves and instead of you handing the fish and feeding them. So that's where I wanted to come in from is it's kind of interesting, I had a conversation not too long ago with somebody watching my lives and they were like, ah, perfection. They, they didn't want to start something until they perfected something or they didn't want to do something in, be, until something. So it was a step. They didn't want to even start doing anything towards their business and nothing related to mine, nothing related to MLM, just some of their own business that they wanted to start growing on Facebook. And I encourage them, I'm like, give me a call. I wanna chat with this. I wanna learn about this. I wanna help you because I know she can impact the world by just what I've seen of what she's done. She can impact the world in a huge way. And I believe in her, but obviously she doesn't have enough people to believe in her to get out of that zone. And I'll just kind of talk about this one example. When I first started doing Facebook, you guys, you would have laughed your guts. You still laugh your guts out at me. I don't care. Have fun with it. Just step out of your comfort zone. Make mistakes. The more mistakes you make, the faster you grow. So originally, my first live that I got on, I saw somebody I knew that was not for what I did, very negative. And they hopped on one of my lives and boom, I hit the end button. I just panicked. I couldn't do it. And within a few minutes later, I was like, Hey, do that. Get back on and do this. You can do this. If you can start a product and have good results and make a promise to share it with the world because it impacted your life, why can't you get back on that Facebook Live and finish it? 
So of course I had to start all over again, shake it in my boots, saying, okay, you can do this, doing that little pep talk. And eventually I found, you know, by doing a little more research, like I always talk about, do a little research about whatever you wanna do. I did a little research and found a team that I absolutely love that teaches about doing network marketing, doing these 14 day lives. Absolutely love it because now I feel like, okay, I'm starting to get out of that comfort zone or the uncomfortable comfort zone, right? And with whatever you do in life, that's how it is. You will not change until you step out of your comfort zone. And I know I still have a long way to go with doing my lives, but I'm like, from where I first started, I've grown by leaps and bounds. And I believe that you can do the same thing. If you believe strong enough in what you're doing, people need to hear it. I don't care what it is. So what is the best way for people to um, learn better and retain things? By teaching them to fish instead of handing them the fish. So that's what I just want to end with, that if you want to get a few more tips to help you get over the fear of starting your Facebook Lives, feel free to private message me and I'll give you a few more tips that have helped me get over that fear because I know how hard it is to do these kind of things. I really seriously we had the hardest time ever. I kept going, oh my gosh, my critiques are going to come on. Oh, I'm going to get a troll or I'm going to get this. Who cares? Who cares? Your message is bigger than the trolls. Your message is bigger than the person that's against you for whatever reason, right? Your purpose is for a reason. God put each one of us here to give us something to bring to the world. And if we can't feel comfortable doing it, hello, it's not our, their problem that they don't like what we're doing, right? So it's okay. Feel free, again, like I said, to private message me with three more tips to help you get over your fear of getting on doing a live because I seriously really think that every single one of us has something in us to share with the world. So I'm going to end with that tonight. You guys have an amazing, crazy good weekend. I'll be back tomorrow with another live with lots of fun. And if you have questions on anything, again, like I said, private message me. I will get back to you with some tips, three tips to get over those fear of getting on Facebook and doing lives. Oh my gosh, Joni, not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. Um, you probably missed the part where I talked about it, but my first one, somebody who was anti-MLM, who was totally against me, came on my live and I literally froze like it was not even minutes, maybe seconds, I don't remember, into my first, very first live on my uh, fan page. And I hit the end button, panicked, and then did my little pep talk, got back on and said, you know what? You are bigger than this because look at how many lives you've impacted, not even on social media. So, I mean, we have to remember that, you know, with our little stories, sometimes we feel like we're in a little bubble in our own little world. But again, like I said, God gave us a purpose. God gave us a reason. And I look back, I mean, if I wouldn't have gone through losing my gift shop, if I wouldn't have gone through my anxiety issues, I would never have found this side of my company. I would have never saw, I would have kept using the products and never ever thought to share with the world. So for that, I'm very thankful. I had to go through some rough moments to get me to where I'm at today. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. So, and I am so thankful to a lot of people in the Rank Makers group that I'm in. I mean, I talk about them all the time for the fact they've made such an impression. Just like my product line has made such an impression, this group has made such an impression. And anyone that's in MLM or sales, you will get so many tips out of that group. It is crazy amazing for the cost, like 20 bucks a month, and you come out of there every single day with tips, things to do, action steps to take. And that's what's made me step out of the, my comfort zone more than ever before. I wouldn't be here on a live if I wouldn't be in the Rank Makers group. So for that, I have to thank Ray over and over again for that one. But to get back on subject, I'm going to um, end this um, live with, if you want three more tips on how to get over your fear to get on and do a Facebook Live, feel free to private message me. Thanks again for watching, and you guys have a great Friday night. I will be back again tomorrow. Have a good night.